don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell to help support this channel and this amazing community that you guys are all part of. Appreciate that. Later. Yeah. That and happened to me a couple of times, like sparring with big dudes. So, like, when people tell me, oh, you know, like, um, size, uh, size doesn't matter, you know, oh, this is something like, okay, like, I want to preface this by saying I'm the biggest Bruce Lee fan ever, guys. Oh, like, so you see it in the back there. Yeah. I grew up with this guy. It's the re whole reason I started martial arts, yada, 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 and all that. And But as I, as I got older and I started practicing more martial arts and sparring and being exposed to different styles, different guys of uh, uh, different sizes too, you know, because I, I, I don't just spar guys who – sometimes you got to spar with what you got. And sometimes if you all you got is big dudes, well, guess what? You're fighting yeah. big dudes. So there was a video. Um, was it a video or something that I posted in regards to um, uh, Michael J Michael Jao White versus Bruce Lee? I made yeah. a video about that because there was a lot of beef going on. Michael Jao White said in a, in a on a podcast or something like, "Yeah, Bruce Lee, I'd be able to to, to whoop him." He got so much hate for that, and then he apologized afterwards. Like, listen, he's my hero too. But guys, you got you guys have to understand physics. Blah, 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 blah. So yeah. I made a video about that. And I was saying, well, who would win? And I said, well, Michael Jai White would win. And then somebody watched that video recently. Like, this is an old video. But somebody watched it and posted, no, but Bruce Lee had speed and, and power. And he uh, he's a street fighter. And I'm like, guys. <laughs> here's, well, here, here's what I always say. Like, Bruce Lee, his speed was undeniably – he was undeniably fast, right? Okay? Mm -hmm. That's great. But distance wise, he wasn't he wasn't a tall man. So even if you are faster than another guy, but the other guy has more reach, he still has the ability to hit his target first. Why? Because you have to close more distance. So speed mm -hmm. becomes negated by distance. Like if you have 20 miles to travel and you're moving at, at 20 miles per hour, you know you're gonna get there in a, in a in you know an hour, right? But the 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 distance if the distance increases and like to to 40 miles it's going to take you 2 hours so for bruce lee being as small as he was he had to travel more distance so his speed had to be great he probably would be awesome up close sure but still against a guy like michael j dude guys <laughs> over 100 pounds more than him he's got seven black belts from what i've heard you know i've i've never seen him fight fight but it's again going back to athleticism if michael j white wanted to hurt someone there's no doubt in my mind that guy could stink and mess someone up it's he's got timing he's got the athleticism behind him he also knows some jujitsu so even if you only knew jujitsu and that's all you knew with his athleticism say you didn't even know any of his uh, taekwondo kayukishin whatever else he's got black belts in he mm -hmm. still could choke you out. You know, he's got a black belt in jujitsu. So like that being said, like for, for, you know, cause people, same thing. We're like, Oh, he's an actor. Guess what? A man is a man is a man is a man. I don't care if you're an actor, dude, I've seen freaking guys with tons of training get smoked. It's not that hard. People can die. Chaos theory. It happens all the time. That's what my whole system is based around. Yeah. But, but get this. Bruce Lee was an actor also. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. Right? So what are these guys talking about? Like, oh, I, but Bruce was a street fighter. Dude, he was an actor, man. He, he was a childhood act. Like, he was a child actor. Like, a famous yeah. one, too. He came from, like, a big opera family and, uh, and all it's that. It's interesting. So um, I did, yeah, I did a post on Bruce Lee. Um, I looked at pictures of his, uh, of his, it's on my Instagram. You'll probably like it. I'll send it to you later. But um, yeah. I, I, I looked at his face and during his teen years, he started developing major scars all over. Like, and I, and I'm a fighter. I know what fighter scars look like. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you could see he's had his chin split open. He's had his eye split. He's had his forehead split. There's legit scars. Like, yeah. And then you look at his knuckles and I found scars that weren't there before. He's got massive, like he punched somebody in the teeth really hard. Cause I got those same types of scars and I didn't, you know, I didn't know. I just, I, 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 like I said, going back to where's the, where's the reality? Where's, where's it end? Mysticism and fact, right? So what could I prove about Bruce Lee? Here's what I didn't know about him. He had tenacity. He was angry because he was a quarter German. You know, I went through a whole thing, breaking down his psychology all mm -hmm. the way down to the way he was raised, all the things that were against him, blah, blah, blah. Because what makes a fighter ultimately here? I mm -hmm. don't care who you are. It's all up here, <laughs> you know? So his circumstances was a perfect breed for a fighter. If, uh, if I really look at it like Bruce Lee's circumstances and the way he was raised and 
all the discrimin all the things that were going against him psychologically uh, i think personally he definitely was in a lot of fights i don't know how good he was but from what i could see uh, as far as what i could tell my personal opinion yeah you don't train that hard either like physicality wise the guy was a freaking specimen for his size you know he overtrained so much they tore his sackle nerve and that's what people don't realize he was literally disabled a lot of his stuff that he did in movies Dude, he was in chronic pain. That's what killed him. He was blasting stinking cortisol and taking painkillers and like so he was obviously very dedicated. He was almost OCD to his craft. But that tells me about his mindset. He was the guy like with that that mindset to train that hard. Yeah, you're right about that because you can't have a mindset like that if you didn't have some kind of thing that triggered it. Something exactly. happened, you know, like yes. you know, bullying or fighting or whatever and because uh, like you said, like he was a quarter German or something. And then some of the kids found out and then. It, it yeah. Got, it well, got too, he tried to me. join the military, had an undescended freaking testy, had blindness in his eyes. So he couldn't go to the military. That freaking hurt him really bad. Like mm -hmm. there's a tons of stuff. He wasn't a like big guy, but you know, so probably got picked on for his size as well. Tons mm -hmm. of stuff. You know, of course he probably is pissed off. <laughs> you know? yeah, cause you, you gotta be pissed off to train like that you know to, to get to that level where that, that he got in terms of strength and speed because he was a uh, a genetic outlier gifted yes you know for, yes like, at, at the minimum he was gifted physically gifted really strong really fast and of course he maxed it out like through training like a madman and um yeah yeah you know so definitely like his mindset was there and <laughs> His whole philosophy, like super, super interesting, super at that time, he, he was a he was a pioneer, right? Nobody oh, yeah. I mean, I even in my my own style, I apply Bruce's principles now that a mm -hmm. lot of the top guys, John Jones, Conor McGregor, Mike Tyson even fought uh, fought Southpaw because of Bruce Lee. Like so his concepts are solid. Like if you read the complete fighting method and read mm -hmm. what he his stuff works. Um, so that's another thing. It's like, if I use his stuff and mm -hmm. I know for a fact it's worked and I've trained with, you know, guys that are, are high level kickboxers, high level jujitsu guys, all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. If I've applied it in my, I don't care what you tell me, if I can apply it and it works for me, whatever you say is inconsequential because I, I've proved it to myself, you know, same thing with conditioning. When people talk com about conditioning, if you can prove it to yourself, it doesn't matter what anyone else says really, you mm -hmm. know, um, I always tell people this, if Bruce Lee wasn't as bad as he said he was, and as, let me ask you this, he went to a karate tournament with the best of the best in karate, talked mm -hmm. shit to everyone there and said, all right, what's up guys? Why didn't anyone fight him? <laughs> Why? Was it because he was such a glamorous big talker that he literally talked all the karate practitioners in there and karate was hard back then. Remember, mm -hmm. right? So he just talked them all into submissiveness. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. Hmm, so really, you got to think like he did some pretty big things and nobody wanted to like step up to him. If like if, if somebody had said that about my style, like, oh, karate sucks. And I was a say, you know, I was super bad karateka or whatever. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'd be fighting him. Right. Why didn't mm -hmm. anyone fight him? Yeah, that's true. So, I never thought that's of why it that way. That, yeah, I always I always tell people I always try to think about these things from a psychological standpoint. I personally think he's a fighter, but what everybody else says, that's up to them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, I, I definitely think he was a fighter, <clears throat> you know, like uh, he had the mindset and everything. Now, how good he was, that's, that's, where, that's, yeah, where, that's... Get, that's where it gets a little bit tricky. And the thing yes. is, it, even if he wasn't a high-level fighter, so to speak, it doesn't take away from who he was as a person and what he accomplished. And also his philosophies. It doesn't, sure. it doesn't, it doesn't negate that, you know? So, so that's what, where people, I think it's like, have this attitude of it's all or nothing. Either he's a God or he's not. No, yeah. actually, like you said, it's always it's somewhere in the, middle. in the middle. You know what I mean? So yeah, obviously like he, his full-time gig wasn't fight professional fighting. So of course he's not going to be like as good as a professional fighter. Right. But, yeah. I mean, he was a martial artist and of course he was an actor as well. Right. So that's where people get it a little bit twisted. So then when just because like if I if I were to say uh, like I don't think Bruce Lee was that good in terms of fighting, it doesn't mean that I'm disrespecting him or I think I think less of him in any way. Like he's done what he's done. But, you know, in, in you have to be able to separate things. That That's just my take on it. Yeah.
Yeah. Totally. <laughs> hey, how much time do you have left? Uh, we got we got another thirty minutes. I'm good to go. I don't yeah. got anything planned. Yeah. Okay, Keep going. Okay. Okay, if you're if you're sure about that, because I don't want to. Like, I'm you, here. I'm here. I'm having okay, a good okay. time. If you're yeah. boring me, I might leave. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, that's is that why you said you only had an hour? You're like, God, this guy sucks balls, man. I don't want to like like I gotta stand. I gotta sit there and talk for freaking and carry this conversation for. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. No, that's actually pretty smart. Like, I uh, hats off. Yeah, respect that, man. <laughs> yeah. But. Yeah. It's it's a it's the easiest way to determine what a truth is. You know, you just you got to look from it from a logical standpoint and mm-hmm. kind of put your emotions aside. You know, um, it's like I I tell people like you know UFC fighters these days, man. Uh, people worship these guys like gods. And I'm like, bro, no, no. You know, you just talk about Francis Ngannou. You compare compare Francis Ngannou to uh, Steep uh, Stepe Myoic. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, myochic, myochic. I think. Uh, yeah. That's the way you, the, okay, you, so you're telling me a guy is a full time fighter fighter and he fights part time and he beat up the best in the world. So what's that tell you? Mm-hmm. Mindset training, mindset training, mindset training. Anyone can do it as long as you have the mindset, the training, the mindset, the training. Right. So yeah, and I think I think even a mindset affects the way you train. Right. Oh, totally. It, it's totally gonna and and if you train a certain way. And you're prepared. That's gonna affect your confidence. If you have confidence walking in, and on top of that, you're just there. Okay, I'm gonna murder this guy. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and well, I'll, have, I'll buy him a drink afterwards. Whatever. You know. Like. Yeah. My my whole like uh you know we've talked about a little bit about my system relentless style right and um I I, I base it I base it off a couple of things right chaos and my my favorite animal by far is the wolverine right the wolverine. Now, and I'm talking about the animal. Okay, I watched I watched a documentary called uh, "Chasing Chasing the Phantom," I believe is what it was called. This documentary that was put out a while ago. It was all about wolverines. Um, great documentary, but those animals are not the biggest, but they are so tenacious, so violent, and so stinking just aggressive. They take on bears. They take on packs of wolves. They, they, they steal food, large carcasses from these other like massive animals. Right. Mm -hmm. But one thing I've learned from that is tenacity, ferociousness, sheer violence, unbridled violence that people just don't even comprehend. Like, I mean, I know fighters that are, are good technical fighters, but being a good technical fighter and being a straight up fighter and a killer at like that, having that mentality, just destroy people is a totally different thing you know i know guys knock people out and they're, they're like man i was scared <laughs> you know and i know other guys they knock people out and they're just they're going for blood full on so um i tell people like yeah size matters but mm-hmm. you should for your size like doesn't matter if you're 135 or 250 or anywhere in between you should be as viciously brutally strong for your size as possible. It doesn't matter your age, doesn't matter any of those things because strength, endurance, those things will carry you through a fight so much more so than anything. And then I also talk about chaos theory, right? The puncher's chance. All if you are good at striking, you only need that one shot. One shot, that's all it takes. Mm-hmm. One shot, and that's it. Can end the fight. Right. A lot of people uh, talk about Conor McGregor when he fought. Um, oh, I forget who he, he was fighting. Uh, oh, it was Jose. Jose Aldo. Right. Oh, hit yeah. Once. <laughs> once got in his head and hit him once. Why? And everybody was like, oh, my God. Guess what? That's what happens in the fight game, baby. You don't know. Today might be your day. It might be his day. But if you go in there thinking it's going to be your day, you're probably going to be with one on the mat. But if I go in there like. Hey man, let's see what happens. I, I have a saying: When in doubt, slug it out. <laughs> Start throwing <laughs> blows. <laughs> like if I don't know what to do, man, I'm just like, I'm all right. Let's just go. <laughs> Here we go. Stand and bang, baby. Yeah, and I think that's good advice. You know, I mean, it's better than standing there confused. Yeah, so many cracked. people. They, that's yeah, what happens. You, if you stand there and you're 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 thinking, well, it's the guy's just gonna be like, okay, well, since the since since the dumbass is just. <laughs> Yeah. Easy like target. You're in the headlights. Let, let me just smack him a little bit, you know? So Yeah. Totally. Yeah. So I I you know, and um that's 
like in my, my, the, the way I developed my system, right. Cause I wanted to incorporate a belt system, right. In, into my style, but my style is a mixed style, right. Um, the way I do my, like my testing, right. For like from white to yellow belt, guess what? It's based, it's not based off of Kata. It's based off of combat experience. So what I do is I give a curriculum. Essentially your curriculum is from white to yellow belt. For instance, you have to be able to punch effectively, kick effectively, catch and sweep from a kick effectively. So you have 10 hours that you have to spar and then you have a strength test and a conditioning test and endurance test, right? So in order to up yourself in my system, katas don't matter. It matters of how well you fight, how well you can perform a move in combat and how strong and dedicated you are to developing your body into a weapon. And then every stage progressively gets harder. Like my, for me, People are always like, oh, you know, you, you, you're huge, man. You probably have horrible cardio. I literally can punch a heavy bag nonstop for an hour straight with no breaks. I tell people, you want me to be on you for an hour, slugging at you for an hour with no breaks? Nah, I don't you know? think you need an hour, to be honest. <laughs> but you know what? I, but that's the, that's the level I try to elevate myself to because I want the, I know that if I have that, Mm-hmm. push comes to shove. If all I can do is just throw punches <laughs> until like the other guy gives up and that's all I got to do. I just know I can keep constant pressure on. That's a scary thing. It, it, when you constantly have that, you know, you fought with pressure fighters, I'm sure. Right. Those guys that just constantly are on you and they, and they just don't give you time to think or breathe or anything that that's what my style is all about constantly pushing forward i don't want you to be able to think i don't want you to be able to breathe i want you to just get mentally and physically and spiritually emotionally exhausted (laughs) until i'm like all right i broke you and then i want to continue to break you and wear you down so you don't want to fight anymore yeah that's a that's a that's like a hard for like it took me a while to understand how to deal with that and i'm not even sure i have the right approach it but my like the way i try to do it if i'm being if i'm fighting somebody let's say my size right for argument's sakes and um he's coming at me pressure 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 let's say it's boxing pressure 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 so me what i got to do is well <clears throat> as he comes in right i'm i got i got to stand my ground and crack him hard and i yeah, got to totally. or i got to use my footwork to maybe get out of the way for a little bit but then i got to crack him hard i got to earn his respect so that he 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 chills out for a second. Because totally. If I don't, and if I, but but the problem is if I don't have that power to make him respect me, I'm screwed. Like I yeah. can't be dancing around the ring all the time because he's 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 eventually gonna like catch up to me, and then I'm gonna get cracked, you know. And then it's gonna be all over. So. And like and people too, they like they talk about Floyd Mayweather being the greatest boxer of all time, right? Because of his undefeated record. He's a defensive artist, right? That's his thing, his defense. He's not known for having crazy knockout power. He's not known for any of those. You compare his record to a guy like uh, Rocky Marciano, who just knocked everyone out and pretty much had the same exact record. Okay, me, one of those guys is a boxer and the other one's a fighter. There's a big difference. And, and, and people misconstrue that idea as well. It's like you cannot compare ring fighting to self-defense. There's just there's there's so much that goes ring fighting there's so much preparation that goes into it so if you knew you were gonna fight me right or i knew i was gonna fight you how much do you think about that how much do you prep how much video footage do you watch um do you watch my training style do you notice my weaknesses do you notice this do you notice that do what are you looking for are you looking for you know gaps in my game you don't have that as street fight. You don't know who you're fighting. You don't know if they're carrying a weapon. You don't know any of those things. Mm -hmm. So going back to the idea of chaos, you have to be fully competent in any situation. Like it's not, it's not about like, you know, Oh, well, yeah. You know, we go three, you know, three minutes. I get a minute rest. We go three minutes. Like, yes, it's hard. I'm not saying it's not hard, but I'd much rather be doing that than somebody trying to end my life. (laughs) Like, you know, or not even intentionally trying to end my life. I'd rather get knocked out on the canvas and hit my head on canvas than get knocked out in the street from a blind side and hit my head on concrete and die. You know, so when 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 I talk about those things and and going um from from I say have martial arts mentality, you know, and street fighting brutality. You know, have the martial arts mindset of the skill and the development, but fight like a dog. Just fight like a stinking animal when you go in there. 
You know, I just say, this is business. I'm here. I'm not going to be here worrying about your feelings. <laughs> None of that. Like if we're fighting, we're fighting. Like that's how I want to deal with it. There's no, you know, put everything else aside, treat it as a job, get the job done as efficiently, as brutally as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Say that again. That was interesting. You said martial arts, uh, martial arts, mentality, mentality? street fighting, brutality. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like that. I like that. Yeah. You know, cause like, like, uh, going back to, I'll give you perfect example. John Jones, look at John Jones, best fighter in the world. When somebody was breaking in his car to John Jones, like, Hey bro, you know what? I'm going to run out there with my UFC gloves on right now. Is that what he did? <laughs> no, he came out with a 12 gauge. Why? Because he's a thug. He knows what's up. <laughs> he's the best fighter in the world. You know what he did? He grabbed a 12 gauge. So yeah, so that's, that's the real world. That's the real world where people live in. So, um, you know, I'm hand to hand is is super important, but being trained and everything else is also important. You know, I don't slack off on any type of training. I'm not I'm not just here training my hands and my feet and my super awesome karate. <laughs> so I, like I know how to use a blade. I know how to use firearms. So going back to like what a real martial arts system should involve. It should be involving drills with like with that type of stuff, like martial arts, warlike arts means being prepared for war. If you are prepared for ring fighting in a sport, that is not the same as being prepared for everyday life of trying not to die. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Agree. Hey, give me one second here. Somebody actually yeah. gave me a super chat, like the first super chat of, uh, ever. <laughs> oh, Hey, <laughs> Yeah. Fancy, they like me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So here's uh oh, it's actually my my friend area. Hey, thanks, buddy. Yeah, just yeah. You know, guys, I'm gonna I have to get in the habit of like doing this and looking at like the the comment section at the same time, which like you know is 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 new to me. So then uh, I'm talking, I'm talking to you. We're having a good time, but then I forget about reading the comments at all. Tell so, the people what do the people say, OG? What do the people say? Tell me what they're saying. Okay.